Okay, so if we look at 2011, number two, part C, I can go ahead and tell you that you don't even need that graph at the beginning of the question, and that everything you need to know is right here. So it says, in order uh, to model the effects of ocean acidification on coral reefs, some simplifying assumptions can be made. Use the assumptions in the table below to perform calculations. So it's saying that the total area of corals growing in reefs is 2.5 times 10 to the 11th meters squared. So that means that the length times the, times the width of all the um, corals in the world is 2.5 times 10 to the 11th meter squared. So that's length times width, right? So I have area. So I don't know how tall it is, though. And then in the second box, it says assume that corals grow only vertically and that their average vertical growth is 3 millimeters per year. So if you think about it, um, volume is length times width. So I kind of already have that, right? Length times width times height. In a second, it's going to ask me about volume, right? So guess what? Length times width times height. That's about to be used. Um, and then it also says the average density of calcium carbonate um, in corals is 2 times 10 to the third uh, kilograms. That's how much it's going to weigh for each meter cubed. So a box that's 1 meter times 1 meter times 1 meter of coral is going to weigh 2 times 10 to the third kilograms. Anyway, um, part one, calculate the cor current annual global increase in volume in meters cubed of calcium carbonate in reefs. Show all steps in your calculation. So, again here, here's my uh, area and here's my height. And so if all, all I have to do to find the increase in volume is going to be multiply my, uh, my length times width times height. And I'm going to get meters cubed. However, and notice here, it said meters cubed. So, that's how you know what to do. Two meters, one more meter, about to be anyway. We've got to convert. But that's, you know, if I multiply those together, I'm going to get this three here. So, but first, obviously, I have to change this millimeters to meters. So, let me do that first. All right. So, uh, let's see. Three millimeters. Okay. I'm going to take that and multiply it. And my conversion here is um, I need millimeters on the bottom. So, there is 1,000. 1 times 10 to the third millimeters and 1 meter. And so when I go to do this math problem, um, I don't have an exponent on this 3, so it's going to be 10 to the 0. So 3 times 10 to the 0, and my millimeters cancel. I'm going to be left with meters divided by 1 times 10 to the third and um, when I'm dividing, I'm going to divide my coefficients. 3 divided by 1 is still going to be 3. And I'm going to subtract my exponents. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. And that's going to be meters. So this is the height of my uh, coral. So to find the volume, I'm going to take length times width, which they already uh, gave me the area. And so that's 2.5, right? This number here. 2.5 times 10 to the 11th meters squared. So two and a half times 10 to the 11th meters squared. And you can put that over one if you want. And then actually I don't even need to do that. Excuse me. I'm not going to, I'm just multiplying. So I don't need to do that. Anyway, so this is my length times width and this is my height. So three times 10 to the negative third meters. And when I'm multiplying things in uh, scientific notation, I'm going to multiply the numbers up front and the coefficients. 2.5 times 3 is going to be 7.5. And, and then I'm going to add my exponent. So 11 plus negative 3 is uh, going to be 8. And then I have meters squared times another meter is meters cubed. And that's the first part. So that's I. Okay, the second part. I, I, Captain, just kidding, um, says, da, 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 calculate the current annual global increase in mass in kilograms of the calcium carbonate in coral reefs. Show all steps in your calculation. So now what they're wanting me to do is they're wanting me to take the number I've just got in meters cubed and turn it into kilograms. Well, look, right here it has a number and it has kilograms and meters cubed. My last answer was in meters cubed. So I can use this number here to cancel out the meters cubed and be left with kilograms. So let me do that. So I'm going to take what I just found, and which was 7.5 
times 10 to the, what was it, third? Oh, that should be an 8. I'm sorry. Can I fix that? There we go. I don't know why I've made it a 3. Sorry, because, see, 11 minus 3 is 8. That's a terrible 8. Sorry, kids. Okay, all better. Um, anyway, I'm going to take what I found, 7.5 times 10 to the 8th meters cubed. And I'm going to um, put it over 1. And then I have my conversion factor up here, the 2 times 10 to the 3rd. 2 times 10 to the 3rd kilograms over meter cubed. And those are going to cancel. I'm going to be left with kilograms, which is what they wanted. So um, 7 and a half times 2 is 15, yes? And then I'm multiplying. So 8 plus 3 is 11. I'm going to get 1, um, or 15, excuse me, 15 times 10 to the 11th kilograms, which if I want to write that in a different way, it's 1.5 times 10 to the 12th kilograms. And that's the answer. And then the last one says, um, da -da 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 -da. because of ocean acidification, it is expected in 2050 that the mass of calcium carbonate uh, deposit annually in the coral reefs will be 20% less than it is uh, deposited currently. Calculate how much less uh, calcium carbonate in kilograms is expected to be deposited in 2050 than would it be deposited if the ocean water pH were to remain at its current value. So basically it's saying, hey, there's a shirt and it's 10 bucks and it's going to go on sale for 20% off. How much money are you going to save? Like how much less is it going to cost? It's going to cost $2 less if it's 20% off. This question is not asking how much is the shirt going to cost. It's, co it's asking how much less is it going to cost. So I'm looking for the $2, not the $8, if that makes sense. So again, um, how much less is going to be deposited? So I'm just going to take this number that I got in part two, and I'm just going to multiply it by 20% because it's 20% off, right? And like I said, 10 times 20% is going to give me I'm saving $2 on my shirt. This, I'm going to take the 1.5 that I just found. 1.5 times 10 to the 12th, oh, sorry, 1.5 times 10 to the 12th up here, I'm going to find 20% of it, and that was kilograms, and um, to do 20%, it's just, let me print these, 20% is, I'm going to move the decimal twice, and, you know, it's going to be 0.2, right, so that's going to be 2 times 10 to the negative first. Same thing. Okay, anyway, <clears throat> one and a half times two is three. And since I'm multiplying, I'm going to add my exponents, and I'm going to get 12 minus one is 11. And my units is still kilograms. And that is it, boys and girls, the end.